Okay, so <clears throat> so all we need to do now is take the derivatives. Uh, we take the derivative of r with respect to of the position vector with respect to r of the um, position vector with respect to theta and the position vector with respect to phi. Okay. So I've done that. Um, this is one of the steps I'm, stick, I'm skipping because it's basically just some base, uh, basic differential, um, basic derivatives and some algebra. Okay, and um, very quickly you we get these solutions. So r hat is equal to sine theta cosine phi x hat plus sine theta sine phi y hat plus cosine theta z hat. And you can actually check this if you go back to the um, excuse me to the um, diagram that showed polar coordinates, um, you can actually um, get this just from looking at that diagram. R, R hat is the easiest one to get. So theta hat is equal to cosine theta cosine phi x hat plus cosine theta sine phi y hat minus sine theta z hat and, f and phi hat um, is equal to minus sine, theta, not minus sine phi x hat plus cosine phi y hat. Okay. So now we want to, again, what we need are these, um, we need dr hat dr, dr hat d theta, and dr hat d phi, okay? So now that we have our expression for r hat, we can take the derivative with respect to r, theta, and phi. And what we find is that um, the expression for r hat contains no, explicitly no r, and so uh, this is zero. Okay, dr hat dr is zero. Um, dr hat d theta, we take the derivative of the first term, and the derivative of sine theta is cosine theta, so we have cosine theta cosine phi x hat. Again, cosine theta sine phi y hat. The derivative of cosine is minus sine, so minus sine theta z hat. And if we look at this expression, we see that it's the same as this one. And so, um, dr hat d, th d theta is just equal to theta hat, okay? And then finally we take the derivative of r hat with respect to phi, and we see that the derivative of cosine phi is negative sine phi, so we have minus sine theta sine phi x hat. The derivative of sine phi is cosine phi, so sine theta cosine phi y hat. And then there's no, the there's no phi in, um, in the last term, and so that's zero. And if we factor out a sine theta, from these two terms, we get um, minus sine phi x hat plus cosine phi y hat, and we see that that's the expression for right here. It's the expression for phi hat. So we have sine theta phi hat. Okay. So those are our um, those are our three derivatives that we need. So now we can basically um, uh, back to we go back to what we were after, which is this small differential displacement, um, and uh, so we were left with dr times r hat. That's the thing that came out in front plus r times this thing in brackets. And now we know that dr hat dr is equal to zero. Dr hat d theta is equal to theta hat, and dr hat d phi is equal to sine theta phi hat. And so in the end, what we're left with is that this differential displacement d dr uh, is equal to dr times r hat plus r d theta times theta hat plus r sine theta d phi times phi hat. So we're going to use that in just a second. Okay, so what was this all good for? Well, um, now we need, we're going to use this uh, in order to, um, to sort of find an expression for um, uh, the del operator. Okay, so we want to find an expression for the for the gradient in the Laplace operator, and so this is going to help us. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to first consider a function f of r theta and phi, um, such that when um, we evaluate this function at some small difference in position, so we initially we we have a position vector r. And if we go to a slightly different position, r plus dr, then the function f will take on a value f plus df. Okay. 